Today's tutorial is fairly simple. I'm gonna show you how to make a diamond in Adobe Illustrator. The main reason I'm doing this, even though it's a simple tutorial, is because there's a tool that we're gonna talk about that I've never talked about before. So let's open up Illustrator and get started. First thing we wanna to do to make this diamond shape is to make a square shape. So I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M. I'm gonna make a square out here by holding shift while I click and drag. That's gonna lock it into a nice perfect square. Let go and we have our square. Now, your default fill and stroke might be different than mine. You can change it to however you want this to look, but we're just gonna stick with the basic fill and stroke of uh, black and white. All right, so I'm gonna select this square. Make sure that my direct, uh, selection tool is selected. The shortcut key for that is V. Come here to the outside edge till I get that double ended arrow and I'm gonna rotate this. Now if I hold shift, it's gonna lock it into, I believe 45 degree increments. So I'm gonna rotate it so it's vertical like that. Now it already almost looks like a diamond, but there's more to this. This is the scale tool that we're gonna use, the tool that I was talking about. I never have really used this, but in this case it makes sense. So I always wondered how I could pull two different anchor points apart from each other evenly and that would be perfect for making a diamond shape with the scale tool you notice that there's a little uh, marker or cursor in the center here it's kind of a light blue if i click around or it's a cyan color if i click around i can change that center point with it in the very center and selecting an outside anchor point and clicking and dragging it with the scale tool it's going to scale those two anchor points out from the edges. Now it's not really looking at the two anchor points that are across from each other, it's actually scaling the shape top half and bottom half away from this uh, center point, this little reference point. For instance, if we were to click and make the reference point up here, I'm not holding anything to do that, I just click and then scale away. Notice how the bottom scales away a lot more than the top. That's because we've changed our reference point. So if you want it to be symmetrical, make sure the reference is in the center. You can do it from the edges either way. The other thing you can do is if you hold Option or Alt if you're on a PC and click, it's gonna make the reference point where you click and it's also gonna pull up the scale dialog box. Now with this, we can um, adjust whether the scaling is uniform, non-uniform, scaling corners, strokes and effects, and then also we have a preview option. I always like to check mark the preview option whenever I have that availability. You can see now just by upping and lowering the uniform scaling or by upping the non-uniform scaling, just how that works, and you can adjust in this way if you would like to. Pretty quick and simple tutorial, that's how to make a diamond in Adobe Illustrator. Mainly it's how to use the scale tool, which is one that I, I never knew why you would even want to use it, but here's a perfect scenario where it makes sense and it starts to get my wheels turning of how I could utilize the scale tool in different ways uh, when I'm working with shapes in Adobe Illustrator. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket and I'll see you guys in the next video.